Hey everybody, I have been in the market for a car for a while and after watching many, many Scotty Kilmer videos on YouTube and also a fair amount of the Car Wizards videos, we decided that really the only choice was a Toyota. <laughs> so I was in the market for a Toyota and finally one appeared in our area. We bought this 2001 third generation Toyota 4Runner. It has 190,000 miles and looks pretty great on the outside. We had a mechanic check it out and he said that everything mechanically is awesome. The only problem was the interior. It was gross. So, welcome to our video where we do a deep clean on my new 2001 third generation Toyota 4Runner. So it was so dirty, in fact, I had to put a sheet on the seat because I didn't want to sit on it otherwise. Just a quick glance here and there. You see that it's, it's kind of gross. What we decided to do was take out the seats entirely. So we disconnected the battery because uh, we didn't want to have any airbag sensor problems. Now, removing the seats, I watched a lot of videos on YouTube and they all make it seem fairly easy. But if the seats have not been removed for 20 years, it's not that easy. We did the passenger seat first, and then we did the driver's seat, and it took a little longer than expected. But once they were out, I was quite happy because that meant I could start cleaning right away. The first day, I had a, a bucket of soapy water. I had a little steam cleaner that I had bought a long time ago, some rags, and my trusty shark vacuum, which is probably the best vacuum I've ever owned. It's hard to vacuum up 20 year old french fries and film at the same time, so that's why it looks awful. I don't do much of it, I just give up and just put the camera down eventually. I did my best to clean this with just the steam cleaner and the brush and you know, I did okay. Just okay. It wasn't great. It was cleaner than it was. I even steam cleaned the seat belts because they were gross too. So at the end of the day, everything looked better. It was clearly cleaner than it had been earlier in that morning. It took about six hours to get to this point. And uh, I just, I wasn't satisfied. The seats looked cleaner, but not pristine, but they were okay. We went then and we power washed the mats because they were just gross. I wasn't going to scrub them. I just was, I just power washed them. The floor mats and the big mat for the back. I thought it was the only way to get it decently clean. And I think I was right. But we knew that things could be cleaner. So the next day, Dave went to Home Depot and rented us this life-saving machine. It was $29 for the day. We threw some of this spot remover into it and I got to work on the seats. And uh, so glad, so glad I did because even after steam cleaning and scrubbing them and vacuuming them the day before, all of this disgusting shit came out of these seats. So yeah, you definitely, if, and if you have upholstery and you haven't done this to your car in a while, you should do it and you will be disgusted by what you find. It, it, it's really gross. I will tell you that the area on all four of the seats, the passenger, the drivers and the back seat, the area that sits right behind your knees gets really disgusting. On every seat, it was disgusting. So there's a, a fun fact for you. Yeah, this area right here. I guess it's just from people's dirty, sweaty knees, but it needed extra care. Ugh. So happy that we got this, that we rented this thing. 
so happy. It made such a, a big difference. I made another video because Dave used it on his blazer. Uh, I'll link that up in the corner if you want to watch that. That's more of a how-to video, but you can see how dirty the seats were too. So the back of the seats are also dirty. I guess because people like when, if you're driving and you have a friend in the back seat, they will grab onto the seat to talk to you. Same with these headrests, not necessarily the part where your head would hit it, but the part where someone in the back might hold onto it as they were talking to you, leaning forward, it really grimy. So this is from the seats and the headrests. Then after this, I moved on to the carpet again. I am not very good at doing two things at once. So I cleaned the carpet a little bit so you could see while I had a camera in my hand. And I think Dave took a shot or two as well. But I mean, this day one took six hours and day two also took six hours. There was a bunch of cleaning going on. And this was as a result from the carpet. So even more dirty, disgusting water. After that, what we did was we put the seats into the car with that is a dehumidifier and we left it on for three or four hours. And then the next day we put little stuff that we had taken off of the, off of like the doors and little panels and all that little stuff that we had also cleaned. We had reattached all of that. And then we also reattached the seats which was much faster putting them back in than it was taking them out. Dave is a pro at this at this point. And I mean, look at that. Look how pristine they look. I have a terrible phone and it doesn't do it justice, but these look these have not looked this good in at least 19 years, I guarantee it. Just everything looks better. This carpet even got somewhat clean, not, not pristine, but better than it was. I just am very happy with how clean this car has, has gotten. We have a few more projects we want to do, or I want to do, with the car. and. I can't wait to film them. Hopefully I'll have a tripod, <laughs> but uh, I want to build a platform in the back because it's only me and Dave and Maggie. So I don't really need any seating in the back. So I want to just build a platform, a safe place for Maggie to be. And maybe if we ever wanted to camp with it, we could sleep back there too. But that's my next project is a platform. And also I'm going to try and paint this car. It's got a little rust that we have to fix, but I would like to paint it. Well, this has been our deep cleaning of the third generation 2001 Forerunner. I hope you enjoyed it. The car is so much cleaner now on the inside. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.